Hi everyone, this is Terry. I wanted to film a quick video explaining holes, overlap, and merge. In my shape tutorials, I showed creating a hole in a, a flower that was on top of a rectangle and said that I would create another video explaining holes, overlap, and merge, so this will be that video. Let's first look at this leaf, and that leaf is overlapping the rectangle. And what I want to do is I want to remove the overlap because the leaf is outside of the rectangle. So I can either remove the overlap or I can merge it, but I cannot cut a hole because it is not completely in the rectangle. So let me show you that. First of all, I want to remove this text just to get it out of the way. The next thing I want to do is to select all the objects. I just drag my mouse around those. I'll, I'll move it to the center a little bit more. And then if you notice on the Home tab, you see Modify Overlap. Let's select that and choose Remove Overlap. Now, if you look in the sewing order, what you see is there is a slice out of the both the outline and the fill stitch of the rectangle where the leaf was positioned. Let me just select the leaf. I just need to, to create a bounding box around part of it to select it. And I'll remove it out of the way, and you'll be able to see that slice where the leaf was. Okay, let me undo that. And we'll go back one step so that we d don't have the uh, overlap. Now let's take the leaf while it's selected and move it back inside the rectangle. So, then my computer's taking a moment to think because I'm recording. I apologize for that. All right, so let me select the leaf again. Let's move it inside the rectangle. It needs to be completely within that rectangle. And once it's selected, hold the control key and select the background as well. So now that everything is selected, Choose Modify Overlap and choose Set Hole Sewing. Now if you look in the sewing order, you can see there's a hole that's completely cut in the center where that leaf is going to sew on top of it. And this is something you would typically want to do because you don't want to have all the stitches built up on top. Now let's look at the third option. So let me undo. We'll undo another time just so we can get back to where the leaf is exposed on the outline. Or I can go ahead and just select the leaf. Let's just select it. And if you hear whining, it's my dog. She wants to come in while I'm filming. So, so she's having to wait. It's not her day. Okay. So let's choose the selection key to make sure that we've selected it and let's move it so it's outside now what we want to do is we want to select all the objects again so I'll select everything and this time I'll go to modify overlap and choose merge now when you choose merge what happens is that it merges the two designs and you this might be something that you want to create in this case I'll lose the definition of the leaf and I have an object that's very uh, different looking not necessarily something I would want to use but at any rate I think this helps explain the three options within the menu which are modify um, the overlaps by cutting a hole or by uh, removing overlaps and, the, and by setting a hole.
I hope this is helpful to you. Thanks for your time today.